Hi there, this is Eli with the Fortress Security Store, and this is our SO2 GSM remote control key fob. You can use this remote to arm or disarm the system from up to 250 feet away without having to punch in any buttons or numbers into your keypad. Uh, this remote has four buttons, a disarm button, a um, arming button, a home mode arming button, and panic. And this is perfect for disarming the system when you enter or leave the house if you don't want to concern yourself with remembering your passcode. Um, there's an audible signal from the main panel that lets you know when you've pressed the button and successfully armed or disarmed the system. And the Fortress Remote Fob does it all at the touch of a button. Now on the back side here, as you can see, um, it gives you a brief overview of what all the buttons do as well as the dimensions of the remote control. And it looks like here, lengthwise, the remote's 2.38 inches, and across width is 1.5 inches, with a depth of 0.5. So let's open this guy up. And of course, you'll find the remote on the inside. Now, we'll go over what each button does again here. Top left-hand button will disarm the system. And as you can see, every time that you press a button, you'll see that red LED light light up. Uh, top right is the out arming button. Um, the, basically the, t the differences between the two arming modes is away your motion detectors will be active. Um, arming in home mode, this bottom left hand button, that means that your motion detectors are set to be inactive so that way you can walk around your house you don't need to worry about your motion detectors catching you and your perimeter will be secured still. Bottom right, panic button. Um, and now you'll notice here on the top there's an antenna. You don't have to extend that for the remote to work. Um, if you need to get a little bit boosted range, um, feel free to pull it out. You shouldn't have to do that at all. Um, like I said, around 250 feet with these guys, no problem. Now if you notice when you press a button and no light comes on, then you'll know that the battery is dead. Uh, and to change the battery, it's a little screw on the back. You'll probably need a, a fairly small screwdriver to get in there, but it takes a 23A battery. Uh, and that battery life usually lasts about one year, um, depending on usage. If you use this, you know, 20 times a day, you might need to change a little bit more frequently than that. But um, about one year is, is pretty average. And this has been the SO2 GSM remote control key fob.